What's up everybody, subscribe for more content. Now I've been mystery hunting for months now in Red Dead Redemption. So I'm a little late on this one with the cigarette cards. I know there's 144 of them and I end up having 80 of them at the beginning of this video. But I dropped this because I received a great comment from a channel called Playlist. Thanks for your comment, man. He gave me a great way on how to farm the cigarette cards. So I pretty much got all the rest of the 64 in like an hour hour and a half and i spent about a thousand dollars so make sure you got your money up but i'm gonna show y'all how to do it right here i'm in black water and all you have to do is walk up to the counter grab a pack you end up getting a card and then hold right in your satchel smoke one because you're gonna have 99 most likely and then after you smoke one go ahead and grab another one it takes just a few seconds between each one you'll end up having a new card just about every time and I literally gained all 64 cards that I needed. And it, it's an amazing strategy. Shout out to Playlist for giving me the comment. I just now dove into it. I've been mystery hunting for so long since the game came out. I don't have 100%. I'm at 92% of the end game completion. So this was a big help. I ended up getting all of them. And once you get all of them, you get big rewards. So if you spend a lot of money on it, you're probably going to make a lot of it back. So don't worry about that. Also, if you're trying to craft all the talisman at the fence, you'll need the Civil War handcuffs. And you can only get them once you send in your first set of 12 to the guy, Phoenix something, bottom. I can't remember his name, but he loves these cigarette cards. So if you do want to craft that talisman, go ahead and send in your first set. If you don't have them, try this strategy right here. It's a great one. You can go to any general store. I, I found out that the best is either Blackwater or St. Denis, but I really like Blackwater more. And it's like random what cards you're going to get, so you really never know. But even with that, I was still getting cards that I didn't have. Either I was getting lucky or it's just how the game is, the probability. I don't know. But once you get all of them, it looks like this, 144 out of 144, and you'll have 12 sets of 12. Go ahead and check it out. All of them will be filled out, and you want to mail them in, and you do get a good reward. So make sure you do that if you don't have it. It's better than running around the whole map looking for the cards. I have the strategy guide, and I still didn't want to do that. So go ahead and sell all your card sets right here and i didn't show all of them but that's what it looks like go to the train station and this is what the civil war handcuffs looks like and you get a good a bit of money for everything that you sell so it's well worth it you'll make your money back and i just want to show this like i said i know i'm late but hey i'll be mystery hunting catch y'all later